Okay, welcome to Diorama Diaries, a series where I'll be making a diorama, obviously, uh, out of some kits that I will not be adding too much detail to, just a, a simple diorama build. The kit that I will be making my first diorama from would be a Tamiya T3485 model. I got this on discount. Actually, everything here I got on discount from a United Model Company, a local shop in Hong Kong here. Um, starting with the Tamiya kit should be simple enough because they're reputed to have very good models, although lacking in some details sometimes it should be a simple build. The accessories for the diorama will be all from mini art. I have Soviet infantry at rest that are designed to go on top of the tank and Soviet tank crew at rest. Now there are five tank crew here and I believe the T-34 only had four tank crew but they'll be only using a few of them pretending the other ones are inside the tank currently. I will be using a pre-made diorama base. Uh, it's a diorama with brick wall from uh, Mini Art as well. This is a vacuum formed base. It's got an injection molded um, lamp post inside which is nice. But due to it being vacuum formed the detail on it is not that great. So we'll be applying a texture paint on top to try to spruce up and give it a bit more uh, defined texture. It looks pretty good all in all. On top of that, I have some tufts from Army Painter, which uh, will help bring the diorama to life. We got some winter tufts and uh, jungle tufts. The T3485 is from Tamiya, like I said earlier, so the quality could, should be quite good. But let's actually have a look at the sprue before we start. It's got the basic uh, chassis. The uh, the the hull seems to be quite plain. I'm not too sure about whether these were accurate to um, to spec, but uh, we'll have a look later. It's got decals for it seems uh, three or four different variants. Road wheels. These are the metal road wheels with rubber with the rubber rims. The actual T34. It's not an angled turret. It's a uh, got a couple of uh, welds and repair marks on it, which is nice. The texture on it seems nice. The welding could use a little bit more definement. I might do that with putty. And it's generally a simple model. It's got rubber band tracks. Uh, not preferable to indie link tracks, but uh, we'll, we'll work with what we got. As for the mini art actual infantry and crew, we'll have a look at them now. This is the tank crew set. It's a very simple sprue. Yep, as predicted. The detail on them seems quite good on this set. Yeah, it's got some... Um, the texture on it's okay. It does seem to be alright. It's got uh, a few accessories you can put on them. Generally a basic crew set. Yep, exactly what it says in the box. And the uh, infantry at rest comes in a single sprue. It does seem to have quite a bit of flash in this particular production. So that will take a lot of cleaning up. There's a uh, pretty bad flash in several places. Overall, for the price that I paid for these, it's uh, quite a good, quite a good product for the price. However, it does not match up to other figures, for example, Alpine fig miniatures, or Alpine figures, was, was it? They make much better resin cast uh, figurines, which will make your diorama look ten times better if you know how to paint them. But, um, we'll see where this takes us.